are you doing? Hey? What are you doing? This year is known as my time For 10 to 15 you're mine This is my life as I live With my cat and me What you got to give So sit and explore my life While I walk through life with strive But I'm here for all to show Even those left behind can't glow Hey look at me Hey Little oh, shithead Quit moving I can't film you if you keep moving Stop moving, I want to get a look at your face. Wait, quit looking away! Quit looking away. I love you, kitty. Hey. Hi. Oh, I finally went out of focus. There we go. Focus, focus, kitty cat. And kitty kitty. Kitty kitty kitty. Hey, well, I guess that's it. There's a the voice. What? What's going on? Hi. You beautiful kitty cat. Yes you, yes you are. So guys, this is uh... <laughs> I'm still fiddling around with this camera, just like... W seeing all the different settings and all that. I The zoom on this thing is fucking amazing. Like, it, it doesn't even... Well, as you saw there, it gets to a certain point uh, where it gets too close. Um, if I'm too close to the actual object and zooming, then it gets a little blurry. But if I'm far away, and I'm zooming in, it goes up to 20 times optical zoom and it automatically, it has infinite focus so I don't have to focus, it doesn't have, I don't have to wait for anything to focus, it's always <sighs> it's awesome one of these days though I'm gonna make a 3D video for you guys and I think you guys need to have the glasses or the 3D televisions to actually like well if you're having it on like a Google TV or something then you'll need the uh, 3D TV. But if it's on YouTube, I think you just need to uh, have the glasses or something like that. I don't know. I'm, I'm, the, the manual to this fucking camera is like 50 pages long. So it's like reading a little mini book. Um, and one thing I found out is that the, the screen on this thing, the little viewfinder that's over here, <laughs> it's, it, it's a touch screen. So I can actually like do stuff while I'm filming and, and like zoom in and out. Like here, I'm, I'm, there's buttons on the uh, screen here where I can actually like zoom. Ah, uh, pimply face. <laughs> oh, this thing is so cool. So it's gonna take me some time to figure some stuff out. Uh, I'm working at getting my tripod back. Uh, because I had my tripod down at the uh, camp, or I don't want to say campsite, but at the Occupy site when the police raided it. Uh, so we're in the process now of trying to figure out whether it's in the stuff that we managed to take away or whether it's at the police station or not, and whether I have to go pick it up and all that. Which is a fucking pain in the ass. Um, and then one. <laughs> I'm not used to having a little screen here to look at, like while I'm filming, so I keep looking over there, um, which is kind of distracting me as I'm filming. It's something I'm going to have to get used to. Or maybe I'll just turn the screen around so I don't see it. Uh, that way, there. Now I actually have to look at you guys. Um, there's no GA today, uh, not a whole lot going on. There's a, the screening of Africville, uh, a documentary that I told you guys about. Um, but um, I'm going to take today off and kind of just take a, a, a mental holiday, I guess you could say. Try to sit back and relax and just chill out, play around with the camera a little bit, see if I can't fiddle around with some settings and get some cool effects and all that. Um, we also came to the decision a few GAs ago. Uh, for those of, you don't, those of you who don't know, the GAs are the General Assemblies, where we get together, we talk about upcoming rallies or any group decisions or any... A thing to do with the press or the media or uh, any ideas that people have that they want to try to uh, pursue. Um, where's it going? Yeah, uh, we made the decision that we're going to cut back the GAs by two. 
Uh, so on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we won't have any GAs or anything like that. We'll still have rallies or whatever uh, if they're scheduled or planned. Uh, but for the most part right now, it's simply just going to be a day off for everybody because, uh, you know, being part of this, you know, a lot of people don't see it. Give me one second here. People messaging me. They're calling me. Um, a lot of people don't realize that even though it seemed like everybody was just hanging out and having a good time, it was really stressful being involved. It took a lot of work to plan and organize and took a lot of work to, uh, like for me for instance, just keeping up with the media aspect of it, integrating the online community and the on-site community so that everybody had a voice and everybody was able to participate and so on, which I never actually was able to do properly, uh, simply due to uh, you know the Wi-Fi breaking down, the windstorms, the rain, so on and so forth. I uh, created a lot of problems and the police showed up and blah blah blah, you guys seen all that, you guys know all how that went. Um, so it was it was really stressful trying to uh, you know just take part um, and you know of course there was the people who didn't take part and they were just around for a vacation however uh, even though it seemed like they didn't care they're still coming to our meetings they're still coming to our rallies and so on so they, they did care they just I, I think it was from my perspective um, for me personally it took a few days for me to warm up to people, it took a few days for me to actually speak up and say something during a meeting, and it took a few days for me to go around and talk to people and actually converse and, and get to know people. Um, for the younger generations who have been through all the shit and who have been through the hard times and so on, it must be, it, I, I figured it was a lot harder for them to take part. It was even more difficult for them to uh, feel comfortable around these people. Um, so I, you know, it, I, I tried to have that understanding and tried to have that perspective when dealing with them, but sometimes they just piss me the fuck off, you know. You guys know how it goes. Um, but, uh, you know, seeing them at the rallies now and seeing them taking part and handing out flyers and, you know, just, just coming to meetings and coming to, like, city council uh, sessions, it shows that they truly cared. Uh, they just weren't able to show it in the way that we were all showing it. Um, so that was nice, that's nice. But the GAs right now, like I said, uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays are going to be off, uh, give us all kind of a break. Uh, and then Wednesdays, I believe, uh, is going to be like a group session for all the groups, uh, like the legal, the media, the facilitation, the direct action, so on and so forth. Uh, we're trying to consolidate all the groups into a very select few so we don't have like 20 different fucking groups going around and shit. Uh, I think we're looking at having three groups. Uh, I think media is one of them, legal or some. I, I don't know. It, this was a while ago that someone suggested it, but we're just trying to work on it now. So Wednesdays are going to be those meetings. We also have, I also have a legal uh, meeting to go to for everybody who was arrested or rearrested and all that uh, to try to get a better understanding of who's actually gone to get a lawyer and who hasn't done this and who hasn't done that because we're still waiting for people. Uh, to get legal aid or to get lawyered up. I was supposed to go to a court hearing this morning for Miles. Uh, however, processing these videos on this high definition camera at 1080p takes a long ass time. Uh, I was up till 6 in the morning just trying to film or just trying to edit the video. It took forever for the videos to process and um, even the video itself failed uh, saving three times. Uh, I think because it was just so much processor heavy that it just maxed out my processor and just, just died on me. Because um, you know this thing films in 1080p at 60 frames per second and my computer has difficulty with 720 at 30 frames per second. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to convert the higher quality into the next step below. Otherwise I'm not going to be, my computer's not going to be able to handle it. Um, which kind of sucks. But anyway, I was at Miles' court hearing this morning. No, I was supposed to go to Miles' court hearing this morning. However, I didn't know what time it was at. I was figuring it was going to be sometime in the afternoon. Uh, but I messaged him just before I went to bed at around 6, 6.30. And it just so happens that when I woke up around 10, his court case, he messaged me, was at 9. Uh, so I kind of missed that. I was supposed to kind of talk to his lawyer today uh, and get a, a little bit of a... Uh, a discussion going towards him handling my case 
Uh, however, I, I completely missed that, so uh, it's no big deal. We have a lot of time. There's still people who haven't, like I said, haven't gone to go get lead the late, so there's not a rush rush to get this done. However, we would like to get my conditions taken off of my uh, release, uh, so that way it, uh, I can be able to actually take part in rallies and take part in protests and not be sidelined, uh, literally, uh, from be taking part, which is a uh, a violation of our Charter of Rights and Freedoms here in Canada for to protest and assemble, um, to demonstrate. They, they specifically gave me those conditions because they're well aware that most of those rallies and protests and demonstrations take part in parks. So by denying me my access to those parks is denying me my fundamental right to assembly and protest and uh, demonstrate and all that. So I think that's going to be one of the things that we're going to be arguing in court uh, but uh, we're looking at doing a, a class action suit, uh, so we need everybody to be involved, uh, and doing that takes some time, so I'm in no hurry. Uh, this camera has excellent zoom, so uh, if, even if I'm on sidelines, you know, I'll still be able to do it. However, I'm still trying to figure out the audio for this thing. Um, it seemed pretty quiet last night uh, when I was in uh, filming the GA when we were inside, however, uh, there was a lot of like background noise. There was a lot of mu there's music playing above. There's people walking around, people coughing, people talking, uh, and then trying to focus in on an individual person. Uh, you know, obviously it's going to be a little difficult. Uh, however, there is a microphone attachment to this camera, um, so maybe down the line I'll get myself a little mic, and we'll actually be able to do fucking proper interviews. And it has a little attachment for a light and everything like that, which is amazing. <laughs> this thing has fucking everything and it's going to take me so long to figure this shit out. Um, but for now I'm just sitting back relaxing, you know, going through the camera, figuring out different settings and all that. Um, I, was, I still hadn't figured out all the settings on my other camera that just broke and I've had that thing for like six months now. Uh, so this one's going to take me fucking forever. <laughs> but as long as I can get my tripod back then I can start, you know, doing some special videos for you guys. Um, I did hit the thousand subscriber mark a few days ago. I would like to do a special video for that. But right now, there's a lot of things going on and my focus needs to be remaining on that. And not on making special videos for everybody. <sighs> that was a lot to say. That was a mouthful. <laughs> I love the variable speed on this thing too. I can go whoa, or I can go really slow, do like a movie style pan and zoom. I go faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, like look at that shit. I wonder if I could actually see the stitching on this thing. Like, look at that. That's just fucking unreal. You can actually see the stitching on this shit. Like, that's just fucking amazing. So yeah, this camera makes me feel like a fucking 10 year old on Christmas who just got his favorite toy. Like, it's just... just <laughs> uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, so yeah, you guys are gonna have to put up with me fiddling around with this thing for a while. Um, but uh, we'll be back uh, with the GAs and the meetings and all that sort of stuff tomorrow. And, uh, you know, look forward to having a special video made for the thousand subscribers, Mark. And uh, maybe something special, uh, different, or something different, special. You guys understand. Quit making fun of me. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for all your support. Dom, you're still fucking awesome. You are the man can't believe you fucking did this shit for me. It just blows my mind. And I hope everybody at home also appreciates this as well because now I have the ability to do amazing videos. It's just gonna take me a little bit of time to figure out how to do that. So Dom, thank you. Everybody for supporting me, thank you. You all are awesome. I love every single one of you. Stay strong, stay wise, live free. Peace.